What's going on, crypto party people? It's uh, Thursday, about 8 a.m. here. Um, 7,129 is what I see on Bybit for BTC prices. All right, so today's video is going to be a quick analysis, but I also want to share with you that we are running a awesome special, all right, 50% discount, folks, for Advantage membership right here, 50%. All right, so our regular membership is $100 per month. And so that makes it $50 per month. And we're only allowing this offer till January 15th for first time members only. And we're only gonna allow this for one and three month subscriptions. All right, so get it while it's hot, okay? Um, as you guys know, if you've been watching my videos for the past you know, few weeks, months, maybe the past two or three years, um, you know, I'm pretty open with who I am as a person, my philosophy, my trading philosophy, who I am um, in terms of my mindset is all pretty, you know, evenly laid out, you know, in my in my community. Okay, so if you go into the education section, I post my trading philosophy. I tell you guys exactly how I trade. I show you guys oftentimes how I trade, and people could see good results from it. If you go to the gains reviews channel, okay, this is free for everyone to see. You can see all the different people who have made gains from our community. Okay, these are all the people over the months, over the past, you know, two years actually since I've been essentially running Cryptosomniac, all right, you could see that they are benefiting off of it very profitably, okay? Now, there's really no special sauce to my tr style of trading. I think anyone can do it. But the real, um, the, the real statistic, folks, is, you know, percentage of day traders, right? I'm sure you guys have heard uh, the 90-90-90 rule, which is that 90% of traders lose 90% of their money in less than 90 days, okay? So only recently did I find out that that percent is actually even less, that the success rate is even less, okay? So you can see right here, Vantage Point Trading. Um, these are some traders who have opened up a website and they, you know, do some uh, analysis, some Forex work. And so they said that the real success rate, okay, if you're negligibly profitable, all right, is between 6 to 8%, meaning that these are the traders who are kind of making money some months, some months they're really not. Um, so really they're slightly above break even, okay? But the real people who are making money consistently is anywhere between 2 to 4%, okay? Um, you can see right there. I mean, day trading success rate, I guess, only 4.5%, all right? And so, you know, in the in the crypto market, I think this percentage is a little bit higher. And I think this is where we capitalize on this uh, market because we run things in a very smooth and efficient manner where we show people exactly how we trade, how to not FOMO into trades, how to not panic sell, how to not, you know, panic buy, um, and don't sort of rush into the crowd and trade like the crowd. Rather be set aside from the crowd and trade oftentimes against the crowd, okay? So this is something that we do very, um, you know, profitably and consistently in our community, all right? So again, come join Cryptosomniac Advantage membership. Like I said, it is 50% off for the next 15 days if you do sign up, okay? I hope you guys do come join because uh, we are consistent traders and I've showed you guys the last couple of days, you know, how I've traded uh, these ranges back and forth, okay? Um, I'll show you guys right now, actually, okay? So in live trading sessions, what I've done is I've explained to people, you know, um, I got into a trade right there, and I exited the trade right there. So let me show you guys that real quick, okay? So here's my um, trade. Let's see where it is. Okay, so here was the trade that I had entered right around 72.76, okay? So I entered at the top of this area, the support that was turned from resistance, okay? So this was all resistance, as you can see right back here, and then this green blocks represent support, right? So I bought into the price right there, and then I rode this thing all the way up here around, uh, all around $7,400, okay? So you can see I closed out my position right there, 73.83. Okay, so that was my you know nice PL right there. Okay, and then after that, what I did was I got into a short trade right after that. Okay, I said, okay, I'm gonna see how far this thing breaks up, and I'm gonna short this thing in the blue block right here because I realized one thing was that this red, as you can see, this was previous resistance. This right here we call it a deviation from price, okay, because a real resistance 
was this right here, and this, and this. This is really a deviation of price action. This is to trap longs, and when price uh, sells off, these longs right here capitulate and they accelerate the sell off. Okay, so being able to understand why the market does things like this and how it does things like this, and then on top of that, be able to react and take a position on it is very difficult for a lot of people. Most people would say, hey, I'm going to just long this thing because I believe this thing is going to just keep going up. Okay, But in our community, we have an objective analysis of how the price is trading and what the chart is showing us rather than what we want to see from the chart and taking a position before the chart is showing us things. Okay. So point is, you know, this red block right here was a true resistance. And I said, okay, if price comes back into that same resistance area again, I'm going to just short this, okay? So I shorted it right around this area right here, and I rode this short down. First take profit was right there. Second take profit was right there, okay? I had no idea if price was going to go all the way down here. And I don't really care to know. Give me the meat of the move. Let me get in right there. Let me get out somewhere in the middle. And let me take my profit, get in and get out. Okay? That is how a true successful trader does it day in and day out. Okay? And I've been showing you guys these trades, um, you know, day in and day out, right? So you can see right here, okay, my entry price for my position right there was uh, 74.34 and my exit price was right there, 72.82, right? So that was half of my position entered right there, sold some right there, and then exited the rest of my position um, at 72.45, okay? What was it? Um, uh, 7240. I think, I guess it was a little bit lower than that. Uh, I think I closed out my trade somewhere down here, over here, 72.20, this area right here before this drop-off happened, okay? So that was, you know, both longs and shorts that I just showed you over the last you know four or five days and that's not easy money but it's simple enough to see a chart and say okay well you know the chart is showing that support has flipped into resistance or resistance has flipped into support and key areas of resistances are getting hit it's pretty easy to sort of look at the chart and just say hey I'm gonna just trade this thing as a short and we'll see how this goes okay most people are too afraid of their stop being hit or they're too high leveraged in uh, their trades or they just are very highly exposed to their position and that's where a lot of people go wrong so I lay out my trades in uh, fashion of you know I explain that hey this is my 10x short so I show you guys the leverage I show you guys how much of a risk this position is in terms of the trade and I show you guys how much account risk that I'm taking in this trade so I also have multiple accounts folks so don't think that you know I'm always risking 5% sometimes I'm risking uh, seven and a half percent. Sometimes I'm risking one percent based based on my account size. Okay, so that's up to you. However much you want to risk in a trade, but I show you guys exactly how I'm trading, where I put my stop, where I put my target profit, and this makes things a little bit more organized and structured, so you guys can see why I'm trading um, and where I'm trading it from. Okay, and I also more often than not give my reasoning for why I'm shorting or longing in specific areas. Okay, so this is you know unparalleled information that I personally believe you will not get from any other channel, community, or whoever is sharing analysis. All right, and by the way, if you guys know me, I really don't get into Twitter all that much. Um, I, I like to kind of keep to myself, give my time to my paying community members, you know, who um, are paying for my time, my energy, and my work. Okay. And I personally don't have time for people on Twitter arguing with me why price is going to do X or Y. I just trade, we, we make money consistently, and that's it. Who cares what the other people think, right? Let them do their analysis, let them trade how they want to. We have our own style, we have our own way of making money, and that's it, all right? Okay, so going forward, um, let's look into the analysis, okay? So what I said was, you know, in this particular area, I was looking for a movement to keep grinding up. And if this would have held, I wanted to take a long all the way up here, but it didn't. Okay, so instead, what I'm looking for now is, you know, a, a confirmation in this short right here. And by the way, I drew this arrow um, before this whole thing happened, okay? So what I'm looking for right now is, you know, once this low was put in, right, I want to see a clean rejection off this area because notice this was all previous support, 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 
So I want to see this turn into resistance right here and then sell off. And that's where I would consider going short. Okay. So for the most part, I'm looking for a nice clean breakdown. All right. And then what we can then look for is targets below this white dashed line, which is the EQ, um, EQ meaning equilibrium of this range right here. Okay. Notice this was all support, support, then it became resistance, then it became support, support, and support. Okay. So I'm fairly confident that this thing, as you can see, this previous consolidation, it went up all the way up here, tapped the same area as support once, twice, three times right there, and now it's coming down to it a fourth time. So sooner or later, this thing has to break down. Okay. There's no way you can hit on support this many times and you can just, you know, spike back up. I guess it could happen randomly with you know some massive spot buying happening, but for now the chart is already showing you what it wants to, which is that this thing is ready for a breakdown. But it doesn't mean that we can't you know break up slightly and then break down by tapping that weekly open. Like I said before, I like to pay attention to the weekly opens and the monthly opens to see exactly you know where price is in relation to those two opens. Okay. Um, so for now, I mean, I guess it is possible that we can make it up here. And then I would love to short up here as well and then ride this thing down, okay? Um, and it, even if it makes it to that weekly open, by the way, you know, we could still have a high, a lower high, and then another lower high and then keep selling off, right? Okay, daily chart, let's see what we got. Um, nothing special on the daily. We've had four straight days of selling uh, from this high. And uh, this kind of looks like a hammer, but again, we still have about eight to 10 hours left in this daily candle so it could still be you know uh it could still show a bit more of a down uh downside or maybe i guess it could pop back up but for now i think you know the fact that this area right here this resistance 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 break up from resistance sells off break up from resistance sells off again the fact that this keeps happening over and over again um this kind of gives me an idea that maybe the resistance is much stronger than we believe and we might be ready for a sell-off sooner rather than later okay so my bias for at least you know the near term is that we're going to break down a little bit more but i still do believe that we have a lot of shorts to liquidate to the upside once we start breaking above you know this high this high this high and even you know these little highs right here okay there's tons of you know resting liquidity sitting above that meaning that there's short stops sitting above that area. So once price accelerates all the way up, right, it's going to just cause a massive short squeeze among all these short stops right here, okay? So it just remains to be seen if we're going to go up first and then down, or if we're going to go down, grab some liquidity, and then push back up, okay? And I think the height of, you know, my target is right at this big descending trend line, which comes back from way up here in June, you know, you can see this high, high, lower high, lower high, you know, lower high. And then if we touch this descending trend line again, that's still a big lower high, right? So, you know, that's kind of my thoughts right there. Um, again, you know, if you're trying to day trade this market, folks, really be careful, at least use some guidance, you know, from, from at least someone like myself, or even someone more experienced than, than myself. If you're in the crypto space, um, find people who resonate with your style of trading, your you know, knowledge, um, whatever style of information that you are best able to absorb. In our community, you know, I do Bitcoin analysis like you're seeing right now every morning, and then I do multiple updates through the day, um, and I show people exactly what I'm seeing in this market, why you know, I'm deciding to take uh, positions like I am, um, and I let people know, you know what kind of risk I'm taking. Okay. So, you know, if you find myself trading useful, important, lucrative, whatever, um, come join Cryptosomniac. Again, like I said, we're running a promotion of 50% off. Just message me right here and uh, we can figure out a deal. Okay, you can pay in BTC, Ethereum, Litecoin, USDC, or you could pay via PayPal or credit card, whichever you guys prefer. Okay, um, so just message me right here and I will catch up with you guys soon. Okay. Uh, take care. Cheers. And again, pay attention to these statistics. All right, folks, don't just think that you can come into this market, you know, and make your money in six months. More than likely, you'll give the money that you came in with and more than that. All right. 
Um, that's it. And I hope you guys, uh, I hope to see you guys come join the Cryptosomnia community. Take care and cheers.